I don't understand men at all, man. I don't understand them. I went on a lad's night out recently, which sounds made up, but it happened. <laughs> I didn't know a lot of them. They were awful people. <laughs> really, really awful. The worst one was called Ribo. <laughs> he was a rectangular beast. He looked like a dented suitcase. Just real... <laughs> Kept on pointing at ladies' butts and trying to get me to look at them with him. One of those guys was like, check up that. I was like, not with you, mate, please. <laughs> look, we've all looked at someone's bum. You don't call someone over and go, could you share this moment with me, please? <laughs> Ribo was the worst. And I do not say that lightly, by the way. There's over seven billion people in the world. It's my best guess for the worst. <laughs> someone's the worst. You've got to... You forget that, don't you? Someone, someone is the worst. <laughs> out, of every, out of every single person in the whole world, somebody walking around, they don't even know it, they're the worst person in the world. <laughs> someone is the worst person in the world. None of us know who the worst is. I mean, it's definitely a man, no one's arguing that. But, like, <laughs> there's no way it's not a man. I'm lucky, fellas. I'm lucky. <laughs> Vibo's the damn worst man. That night, when we all hit the town, he ended up cheating on his girlfriend, right? And it wasn't even like an accident or nothing, he planned to do it. Because earlier that night, one of his mates went to him, Oh, Ribo, did you not want to bring your girlfriend down tonight? And he went, No. <laughs> Take a look around you. There's so many fit birds in this nightclub. <laughs> and you wouldn't bring an apple to an orchard, would you? You wouldn't bring an apple <laughs> to an orchard. <laughs> now, credit where it's due. That's pretty clever. Because <laughs> moments ago, I don't know if you remember, we were in a nightclub surrounded by women. But now, thanks to Ribo's eloquent use of language, we've been transported. to an orchard <laughs> surrounded by apples and when you're in an orchard surrounded by apples the rules are very different you've got to admit that it's all right for the ribo to sit in a tree and help himself to apple after apple it doesn't matter that he's got an apple sitting in the fruit bowl at home what do you have to do eat one apple for the rest of his life that is disgusting <laughs> meanwhile the rest of us we're walking around the orchard and to be honest the main reason why we came to the orchard tonight is because we don't have apples <laughs> so we've come to the place where the apples are hoping to find an apple we like. <laughs> We're a little bit miffed as to why Ribo, who we know fully well already has an apple of his own, is sitting in the trees eating all the fucking apples. <laughs> the rest of us, the only reason why we want to bring an apple to an orchard is if we were lucky enough to have an apple, we'd much rather stay at home with that apple in front of the telly than spend one more night in this godforsaken piss hole of an orchard. <laughs> it's a normal place. Some of us have been here for five years. I hate climbing trees in the dark. <laughs> right mind even compares women to apples in the first place. Those two things aren't even remotely interchangeable. A woman a day does not keep the doctor away. <laughs> not because of STDs, not because of what you're thinking, but just because just because if you do sleep with a different woman every single day for the rest of your life, sooner or later you're going to end up sleeping with a GP. That is statistics. <laughs> Accept it. And guess what? I did a bit of research. If you do bring an apple to an orchard, no one gives a shit. It's absolutely fine. There's no problem with it. In fact, it's also, it's also okay. Bring your girlfriend to a nightclub. That's all right as well. <laughs> if you're feeling romantic, bring your girlfriend to an orchard. Why not? Have a lovely little walk. Don't bring an apple to a nightclub. That's the only one of the four. <laughs> that is weird. No one's going to want to dance with you if you're there. Just... Fine to bring an apple to an orchard. You know, they don't like you doing it in an orchard, genuinely. They don't like it if you do sit in a tree eating all the apples, because they've got a business to uphold. That's called theft, mate. <laughs> what they'd rather you do, they want you to pick all the apples you want, and then you weigh them, and then you pay for them, and then take them home and eat them. So if you are in an orchard, and you want to eat an apple while you're there, you're actually best off bringing your own. <laughs> then you won't get in trouble. <laughs> so if anything, his motto should be, 
always make sure you bring an apple to an orchard. <laughs> Promise me you'll do it. I know a few of you pulled back during that final bit of the routine, got a bit tense, didn't it? I want to point out, when I was saying about paying for apples there, that was literally about apples. <laughs> <laughs>